That brings us to our political plays this week. Democrat Michael John Gray and Republican Bill Vickery joining us this morning. Good morning, guys. And I want to start with talking about the mask mandate. We hear about the parents who are suing one of the school districts. A lot of people giving the governor a hard time about him going back and forth on his stance. Michael John, we want to start with you. Well, you know what? I don't think he's going back and forth. He realized that um, we looked earlier in the year, the um, pandemic the coronavirus looked like it was waning. Um, he's in a tough spot with a legislature that is uh, leaning towards some radical notions. He realized with the ramp up of the Delta variant that that was a mistake and to his credit and what we don't see enough of, he said, I shouldn't have signed that bill. Um, school districts and local areas should have the uh, right to make a local decision to enforce a mass mandate if they see necessary. Um, he's in a tough position. What he doesn't have is the support of the Republican Party leader in the state or a lot of the um, people that are fanning the flames by understanding that masks do help and that local control should prevail. And if um, my school board decides it's best for my child, for everybody to wear a mask, they should be able to do that. And to the governor's credit, he said he was wrong. He regretted it and he's moving forward. I don't think he's flip flop. Bill? Yeah, look, I think it's a little bit up is down and black is white here. Conservatives, we've argued for local control for some time. And, uh, and, and so, you know, this is a, the governor's taking what is an intellectually conservative position. Uh, I also understand where the legislature's coming from on this. And it, the, the bill had overwhelming support and continues to have overwhelming support. And so you just have this unique political time where you've got school board members who I think will probably be reelected. Re voting uh, to include mask mandates, and you've got conservative Republicans representing the same area <clears throat> uh, voting against mask mandates, so I think they will probably be elected, re-elected as well, uh, easily. So it's a, it, it's a very um, uh, confusing political issue. Uh, from a policy standpoint, <clears throat> if we just <clears throat> go take the vaccine, then it sort of takes care of itself. And Bill, really quickly, speaking of political issues, let's talk about the situation that's happening in Kabul right now with refugees being accepted, you know, pretty much in a lot of places, yeah. including right here in Arkansas. Yeah, I applaud the governor for that. Uh, you've got a lot of people. Look, it's easy for me as a conservative to wave the flag in Little Rock, Arkansas and be proud to be an American. But you've got a lot of people in Afghanistan who did more <clears throat> for the United States of America than I've ever done with my life. And they deserve the opportunity to, to be uh, removed from what will definitely be a death sentence should they be there. Uh, they were uh, of a significant aid to us militarily. We deserve to get them out. It's, it's, an, it's an abomination that this stroke victim of a president has allowed this carnage to occur and this disaster to occur. It is wrong. This is what happens when you put a man in office who doesn't have any cognitive thinking ability. And I'm telling you, he doesn't know what day it is, so he's unclear. Even we left about the, borders. Are we talking about the refugees coming, or, or are we doing a no, I'm talking about the position question. that we're in. Michael no, John? So it's a horrible situation. Men and women, United States soldiers, have lost their lives, have their lives um, changed over the last 20 years in a place that looked like there was really never going to be a win. It was a bad pullout, but at some point, somebody had to be responsible for the pullout. Somebody was going to take this blame. The president's taking this blame. The Afghan government had some issues. So the issue is now. The issue is now. We can't do anything about yesterday. We can only do something about tomorrow. And the issue is now. We get these people home. We get them home safe. And we give an opportunity to these refugees, to Governor Hutchinson's credit, who have supported us, have been there for our military, get them here safely. That's what politicians and pundits like to do, point a lot of blame. Let's look towards solutions. And we have run out of time, guys, so I appreciate you joining us this morning for Political Place, and they'll join us right back here next Monday as well.